trouble. And yeah, so he's there. He's waving around the swords. I also need to put okay. Clarence in here. Oh, Clarence is here? Yeah. Good, I was worried we left him. Nope. Um, oh, wait, no, was Clarence in wasn't in here, was he? That's right. No, he was there. Was he? I can't remember if Clarence was in here or not. Clarence was not in here. He wasn't. I was hoping he would be, but he wasn't. Um, so, I just look at this guy swinging wildly above my dying pal. And then I just kind of take a step forward. And step forward. Mm hmm then a step forward. Can I kind of drag Leroy back this way? Yeah, I don't see why not. I do that. I just kind of like reach with my arms and just pull him up the steps. Okay. I like that. I like that a lot. So okay. we've, we've pulled him away. He's still dying. Speaking of, I need to make some rolls. Oh, no. Well, damn, Leroy. You refuse to die? He refuses to die. Thank you. Um, can we try to stabilize him? Yeah. Without a potion or... Yes. Spells? Yeah, you can try to stabilize him. Just don't f*** it up. Um, <laughs> okay, yeah. got a quick question. Who has the better, med <laughs> <who has> the <laughs> better med med medicine here? I mean, I feel like I'm like plus three good at medicine how do you feel floor i have a plus plus three plus three okay uh i'll give wedge, it to you what's your, what's your medicine wedge <laughs> hey, so jewel is helping me out yeah i have a plus three <laughs> medicine plus three yeah we all have plus threes well there you go okay so i'll roll for it then I was gonna say, if you're gonna say that Wedge is helping you medicine, you might wanna think again. So, what will a 20 get me, a nat 20? Uh, I mean, I'll give him uh, one health point, since it's a nat 20. Yeah, yeah. So Technically, it's a 23 total. So it's only because it's a nat 20. I don't care how good it was without that nat. You would still be laying there dying with a sword throat injury. It's just like, nah, there's no, uh, there's no bandage in that one and walking it off. It was a 20 and an 18. But, but, but you basically came in, you're like, all right, they missed the spine somehow. <laughs> I, I just got to fix that. Me. Yeah. And you got some help. And you got some amazing help from Florence. Like, pretty yeah. great. You got some yeah, it's like we became we became one being with four arms at that point. <laughs> you looked like a nine-armed, three-headed battle god. Sorry, what? <laughs> oh gosh, now that's an image. Ha ha! I know Jewel gets that reference. Why? Well, because we have to. Ah, anyway, so, let me move Leroy for you real quick. Yeah, Leroy is fine now. He's got one hit point, so just. Leroy's Don't like, die. Leroy can no longer okay. talk, though. Oh, um... Or sing, which was uh, Leroy's passion. Oh. Oh. And would she just be... Oh, oh. <laughs> can we... Uh, Florence just be sad for that. Don't worry, we'll get you fixed up. We'll get you fixed up. Just We're don't... Gonna die. We're gonna need... Yeah. 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 Does anyone know a cleric? That's what I was asking. I was about to ask, do you know one? Um, do I know a cleric? Yes. Probably. Right. I'm more concerned about definition of a cleric and when we said that. I mean, we mean a good healing one, not one that revives the dead. That's true. I mean, I. No, we're not looking for that here. Because I know where this can go, and I am aware where this can go. 
out of if here. If one fails, if all else fails, if it's okay, just bring him back from the dead. That's not the same. It's not the same, but we'll we'll manage it with Leroy. Because mm -hmm. Leroy is he's a part of this team. Mm -hmm. And we're glad to meet him any way we can meet him. Mm-hmm. Leroy, what are your pronouns? Oh, you can't talk. Oh. Sorry, Leroy. Uh Leroy looks Ken. down and says. You wanna, you wanna know what's a very gender neutral pronoun? What? Fuckface. Fair. Leroy gives the uh <laughs> thumbs up sign. <laughs> Alright, you're pronouns are fuck. <laughs> no, is just like, no, I'm calling Leroy still. <laughs> Can I roll to see if this guy swinging the act or swinging the sword around recognizes me? I mean, I guess you could. Definitely see if you recognize him. 93. That should be in your area, right? Yeah, that's, that, it has to be above a 90, so he I recognizes should... me. All right. Or I recognize him. Yes. I can't remember which way it goes. You recognize him and he knows you. Whoa. Technically, it's, uh, they know you as in, like, know you personally is what that role is for. Mm -hmm. And once again, that's a Maybe. rough, it's a rough Maybe. distinction, but Diffie understands yeah. it. The, the, to know and to, and knowing are different. Yeah. But yeah. you know this person, so you shouldn't have to make a role on whether or not you know them, because you know this person and they know you. You have an established relationship of some kind, whatever that may be. Mm-hmm. And... An established relationship. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Speaking of, the person that you see swinging a sword wildly in front of you seems to be... Zarathos. What? Wait, what? That... I look at the other two and I'm like, "That you get? Are you guys see what I'm saying?" Um, probably depending. You might want to fill me in. It depends. Does Florence recognize this person? Then again, you just got here, didn't you? Didn't both of you just get here? Mm -hmm. No, I've I've been here. It's just that I've been distracted by Sarah's show. No, I mean like. New to the carnival. Oh, oh, yeah, I've only been here like a month. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. So, I'm gonna bet that neither of you recognize me. That's Zarathos. Uh... Probably not. Mm. Axel, should I do a roll for this? I know, I was about to say, can we just do a roll for this? To see if you know him? Exactly. I mean, see if we know Zarathos. That, yeah, that's just a carnival knowledge thing as opposed to if Zarathos knows you. So, that's knowing as opposed to to know. So, okay. what would we roll? Uh, basically, you roll a d20 and add history and then add uh, how many decades you've been at the carnival. Oh, so uh, 1d20 minus 1 for me. Rough luck. Uh, you... so... You are not a historical man. <laughs> I'm getting some help from my freaking pseudo dragon. Screw this. Oh no, poor thing. I'm good. But uh, I'm going. I'm going to uh, do this. Uh, this thing that I've kind of been trying to do. Hey, <laughs> use Nerathos. Good egg. Okay, we're starting off this day night lovely. To be fair, at least you're using him on these rolls. Yeah. Yeah. So I kind of I kind of step around Leroy and I step onto the stairs here and I'm out of sword range of him. But I'm in front of him and I want to see how he reacts. Does he see me? Does he notice me at all? Nah, he's still wildly swinging his sword. Although he is moving back and forth a bit. Like, he'll move Next up here. You, know, you find out his sword has a 10-foot range. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. No, but you see him turn over here and basically, like, divine smite nothing and leave a huge fucking... Is he okay? I don't 
No, actually. Um, I'm gonna see what happens if I step as far away as possible from him and then step down off the stairs. Does and anything happen? So he actually does turn towards you and starts swinging wildly running towards you. Eep! Eep! <laughs> so I'm out because I have that reaction run. <laughs> I literally just run saying eep. Just eep. Um, any chance of Floyd can take an input check to see if that guy is okay here? That would be a good idea. Is he real? Is he real? That's actually I not think, a bad... I think he's... I think he's pretty real if he shoved a sword through Leroy. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. What does your insight check see, Florence? What do you see with those anime eyes? <laughs> what do I see with my lovely... I would say fish eyes, but I don't think that would work here. Yeah, but anyway. I mean, what? I think typically fish aren't known for having good eyesight. Okay. Oh, good. Okay, never mind. Elf eyes then. <laughs> <laughs> what do you see with your mantis shrimp eyes? <laughs> <laughs> I can see. Do, are they on eye stocks? That would be so creepy. If they are. To actually, you know, that yeah. is so horrible. I think they are. That is a bad mouthfeel of this of this night. Yeah, they're not big eye stocks, but they definitely have eye stocks. <laughs> they're like slug eye stocks. Horrible. Zero. But attack. they see all the colors of the rainbow. That is true. Is it worth it? Doesn't that mean this shrimp see more color spectrum than we do? Oh, well, yeah. way more. Like, <gasps> nine times as many speaking just on the base frequencies, which means they see, like, millions of more colors than we do. <laughs> so, you can tell the sun's is, uh, wrong, Jewel. You, you tell something's wrong. Oh, God. You're not sure what. That. What is it, Jewel? What is it? Or, Florence, what is it? <laughs> not how he normally acts. Does he act like this? I just, have uh, I just look at you and I'm like, you don't say. This isn't how I normally act. You don't say. Okay, I don't need your sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, excuse me. Uh, Wedge is gonna this. call out to Zarathos again. Hey, hey, you Zarathos? Hey. I don't think that's gonna do anything. She looks at um Wedge is like that's not gonna do anything. You know that, right? Yeah. Is know. there? Try. DM, is there like a rock on the ground? Uh, you could search for one, but probably. Can I pick up a rock? Oh, Just, like, a little one. Okay, a little one. In the meantime, Florence is going to do dancing lights and kind of float them around towards where Zerathos is. I'm investigating for a rock on the ground, and that's a 21. <sighs> yeah, you, you see that there's some rocks hanging around by here and here. And, and your dancing lights. Okay. Okay, and I so, you, uh, sorry, just for Jewel's thing, uh, Jewel, you're just gonna do that and kind of mess with him, I'm assuming? I'm going, yeah, just to see if he can recognize lights or anything. She's not necessarily a medical expert, but she can see if this would work. Because that can't be good if he's just slightly swinging. I am staring, I am staring directly at Jewel, waiting to see what her dancing lights do, just kind of holding a rock. Like, it's not even with a in my hand. What are you, yeah, I'm not gonna, you're not gonna throw it at him, throw it at, it, throw it at him or me, right? Or at least I'm not, not gonna me. throw it at you. I'm not gonna okay. throw it at you. Yeah. Okay. I make no promises about him, though. Okay, can we, at least it's a small rock, right? <laughs> it's about the size of my fist. 
and she thinks about that for a second. Wait a minute, that can't be good, right? That can actually cause damage if it hit hard enough. Yeah, but I'm weak. I am too, but we don't want to talk about the fishing competition. Uh, do you want me to pick up a smaller rock? There's a little pile here. The wedge pulls the bowl off of his back. The bowl? The bow. Bow, his okay. Bow. Okay. And when Shorn looks at him, don't you dare hit him and kill him. But hit him and not kill him? I can do that. And I throw my rock. All right, well, uh, I guess that's, you know, a regular, you know, attack roll with a random thrown object, which is basically just a uh, roll with your dexterity added and not your proficiency, because you wouldn't be proficient in random rock throw. Probably. Um, Unless you have Tavern Brawler, I think. There's a couple. There's, there's a couple classes that will give you the ability to have throw everything or some other stuff. That's an 18. That should be good. Also, Jewel, your spell, while flashing around him, he just does not seem to notice it at all. Which Florence is very much going to drop the concentration on it and point out that that's not normal. Like, most people at least would register that lights are around him. Unless they're blind. That's true. Let's see if he registers getting hit with a rock. And I hit him with a rock. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you need to roll damage for the rock, which is probably, I think it's like D4 or something, but... A D4. Where's my D4? Here's a D4. Two. Alright, so uh, you throw it and you're able to hit him in the head, and now I need to roll something. Uh, at, oh, which, no, I... at which point oh, it, it looks over and... Uh, just for a second goes in this direction before kind of like stepping up onto the stairs. Eep! 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 Uh-huh, uh-huh, as long as it looks at both of them. Uh, so let's just keep this clear. He does not register life. Uh, but he does register getting walked in the head. Okay, nice to know. Yes, although you do notice that it's he's, he's not like swinging at the moment. I also check. Oh, sorry about Zap. that. Thank you for reminding Zap me, Diffie. Zathros, are you okay, bud? I mean, if you're bud, you know me, bud. Come on. I'm not your buddy, friend. I'm just a little thing. I'm just a little guy. You wouldn't hit a little guy. Look at me. I'm just a little guy. I'm a little girl. But that's weird to say. I'm a little guy. I'm a little girl. I was going to say... Define little. Are we talking like under four foot? Actually, I'm, I'm actually fairly tall. I'm taller than pretty much everyone here. I'm five eight. I'm five eight. I we're equal height. Yes, <laughs> but we can go really <laughs> is, is on equal footing. <laughs> you know that Florence is on equal footing when she can smile at that. Yeah, which which how tall are you? Six three. Oh, you're so tall. Oh, yep. God. Yep. So we're the sh we're twinsy heights, and Wedge is taller than both of our behinds. How how tall is Zathros? Zathros is taller than Wedge, actually. Oh damn! Yeah, he's like oh, six. God. He's like six seven. Oh god, he's a giant. He's pretty damn big. Yep. Alright, so I need that one, which is in a different spell slot, so I need... Spell? He's spelling? Don't spell! Oh, we no, no. Have to no. You're fine, you're fine. I'm just a little guy. Don't, don't spell me. I'm just a little, little, a tiny creature. A humble boy. Yeah. No. You don't have any spells. I have one spell left. That's why I medicine checked Leroy instead of trying to heal him. I have one spell and no bloody inspiration left. 
Meanwhile, Florence has, um, how much does Florence have? Okay, she has at least three spells on her. But I've got my crossbow. And I've got a dream. Uh, so you can cast crossbow at some point. Yeah, I cast crossbow bolt. <laughs> cast crossbow! Pew! Pew! <laughs> Fireball! Like Fireball! Mag magic missile! Can I cast non magic missile of a crossbow bolt? I mean, <laughs> I don't think there's anything about that in the, the ancient I'm teachings. Doing it. Having yeah. said that, uh, you suddenly. Everybody needs to make a perception roll. And I need to look this up. Oh no, perception roll. Okay. Okay, and I'm getting it with advantage. So this is a thing. Thirteen. A seventeen. Nineteen. <laughs> I actually got a perception roll despite Sarah show. <laughs> I mean... <Despite> the... <laughs> And then if I actually did do a perception roll for, um, Ursul, it would be kind of funny. Unless yeah. Axel wants it. You can. What? I mean, Whatever I'm... we're perceiving is laughing at Sarah Show's pun. Pretty much. Okay, it doesn't even matter. Got the same thing as it was. <laughs> Alright. So, all of you are able to tell... Give me a moment because I need to make sure. Yeah. Yep. There seems to be some kind of pounding noise coming from right here. And not even a noise, just like a vibration coming from the earth. Right beside me? Yep, this right here. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, also, at the pretty much exact moment that that happens, uh, you see this. <laughs> oh my gosh, out of character, I was be laughing. And in character, uh, you can just hear uh, a sigh that comes from Florence. What are you sighing about? Nothing. There's, there's a thing, there's a thing right there. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 definitely that. It's definitely that. It's that. Honestly, whatever is pounding on that oh, pounding, it's not good. Darling, you, you're a bad liar. You can't lie to a bard. Hun, you don't want to know, uh, know what... Trust me, if you knew what was the truth, you would be sighing too. Now is exactly the time. No, it isn't. No, it is not time for that. And for once, Florence is going to say, Yes, I agree with Wench here. I I say I say to Sarah Show who can't understand me, I say now is exactly the time. Keep it up, bud. And I give him little thumbs up. <laughs> and which one is Oh like, god, this is fucking horrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, why are you like this? Uh because I was I was born without a mom. That's why. Because I'm crazy. Why do you think I'm here? Damn. I mean, there's a list of reasons. Mm. I mean... I like speaking oh. speaking of, uh, I think that wanted to note uh, this is still, just for people remembering what time this is all going down, this is still in the night <laughs> before dawn. This is like 4 or 5 a.m. Yeah. yeah. Which is great. <clears throat> but yeah, as what you see happen is... A basically you see like an explosion almost of like air come out from Zarathos and it surrounds him by like 10 feet for a moment everything looks like all funky and wonky and then it's like seems to disappear that's not good that's magic can I arcane check that sure uh, 11 plus or is that sitting on the edge of my dice tray I can't tell hold on okay uh, it's fine. 11 plus 
three is a 14. Can I Arcana check that? Yes. Hey, Boo, can you get off my keyboard? We're good. Oh, we're golden. We're oh, no. Right? Uh, I also want it to be known that it is still tremoring from this thing here. Yeah. Can, I, can I check out what that is? Yeah, sure. But, I'm rolling uh, all the checks now. Yeah, all of the checks. Okay, so on your first check, you just noticed that uh, with the 14, you were able to tell that all of the magic in the area had seemed to be disrupted somehow, for whatever reason. Uh, your check, on the other hand, Julie, you're, you were able to just tell that that was a anti-magic field spell. Uh, plus... We have more stuff. Point that out. Says so, yeah, this is not good. Whatever it's that is. What? Why is a why is an anti magic field bad right now? I mean, think about it. I can't cast. I understand you. We've we've been up for a long time, but that's not good. That to be you to be fair, your arc, your arcana check will tell you that the magic anti magic field only surrounds a caster within ten feet. Yeah. But that all magic within it is basically fucking fucked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, that would be kind of bad. Uh, at which point, uh, the dude steps forward again, raises a sword, and says. Who the fuck are you all? But you know me, bud! What the heck? I'm Wedge. Uh, look at my face. Look he, at my face. He's a little bit out of sorts and having trouble recognizing you. You don't recognize me? No, hold on, hold on. No, but he I recognizes Leroy. Leroy, how are I'm you doing? How have you been? What the fuck are you doing uh, in here? Oh gosh. Um, Leroy just looks make... royally pissed, by the way. <laughs> I'm trying to make that Zarathos feel guilty for not recognizing me. Alright, I don't know what role that would use, but roll. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. That is a good question. I feel, I feel like that would be a persuasion or a charisma. Yeah, we'll go with that. That seems like a good one. Uh, Someone needs to make, a, make an old lady uh, character. So, so, the chancla. <laughs> so, so I rolled an eight, but my persuasion is plus nine, so that is a uh, seventeen. A seventeen. All right, let's see. Does he feel guilty? Uh, we're about to t t ha nope he, is, he still doesn't recognize you for the moment he's, he's like shaking it off he's like all right so it's leroy why are you so angry leroy jesus and then this guy wedge and then why is there a bird over there I mean, that's not a bird that's a dragon yeah don't... no not that dragon <laughs> No. Right. Wait, when did that dragon get in here? By the way, Clarence did show up when no one was paying attention. <laughs> His stealth in was His legendary. Was legendary. Everything about Clarence was legendary. legendary. Oh shit! Catching shit. that mad feedback. Mad feedback. Who are you catching it from? I don't know. It might be from know. me. It might be from me. Nah, nah. I'm no, it's going from Ashley. From Ashley. Okay, I'll hang up and call back. Give me no a worries, sec. it happens. The Discord major bitch. How's that? I believe it is much better. Excellent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Discord be wonky. Yeah, yeah. I do. Mm -hmm. So. Well, Xerathos, quick question. Carly here. I know you don't recognize me. Which oh, is hey, shame Carly. We are good buds. Hi. Mm -hmm. um, why did you stab our bar maid, nice. Xerathos? What do you mean? I was just fighting demons a moment ago. Damn a filthy de uh, demons. 
Yeah, you're sweetie at air. Yeah, there's no demons here, dude. Yeah, hmm. sorry, not you, but, yeah. We're not lying to you. Insight, deck us. He doesn't believe you. He rolled a two on insight. Is there a chance we can try to persuade him that there was no demon there? I mean, that's, you know, persuasion checks can do lots of things when rolled well. Edwidge, uh, I will give it to Carly. I think it's Carly's probably the better one in. Yeah, I'm yeah, not even well. I... <laughs> Sting that. My persuasion is plus nine, so yeah, you will. I kind of step forward, so I'm in front of him, but not, like, directly in front of him. So I say, I say, I swear to you, I swear to you, on my father's life, there were no demons there, and I persuade him. With a 14 plus 9, uh, 23. That's pretty good. Let's see how he does. Rolls nat 20 to resist. No, not this time. <laughs> plus, he's still rolling insight. I mean, he's not tr trying to not be persuaded. He's trying to see if you're telling the truth. He just sucked last time. So he's like, all right. Let's say I did believe that uh, there were no demons here. No, uh, what, what the fuck's going on here? I don't know. We are kind of in your house, I assume. This place? Nah. Well, yeah. Nah. This is not my house. Then where are we, do you know? Mm hmm. 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 He rolled a two. Okay, um... So... Clarence, Leroy, you know most things. Leroy, you're always eager to speak up. Uh, Leroy is just right like... Now. Leroy is basically just going... <laughs> oh, hey, Zarathos, you're a cleric, right? <laughs> yeah. So you see this big kind of <coughs> gaping wound on my friend here's neck? Oh shit! Wait, did you, did you get that shaven, Leroy? <laughs> did you get that shaven? It was a really close shave. Leroy is just like beyond furious at this point. <laughs> Can you maybe do something about that? Got like a little healing spell in ya? I mean, he's a barmaid. He can't have that much HP. I mean, you don't know Leroy's life. I don't know Leroy's life, actually. I've only been here, like, 15 years. Sorry, Leroy's only been here, like... How long have you been here, Leroy? <laughs> Just screaming. Leroy questions. Just screaming. I don't think he can answer at the moment. He's not really in a good spot to answer, you know, with the whole throat thing. He's like, right, right, we should probably fix that. Yeah, yeah. Then we can see what he's so damn mad about. Yeah, you know, we definitely could. And he, I, uh... I'm gonna, I'm gonna give Leroy a look that's just like, chill out a minute. Leroy is just like lost in anger at this point. Yeah, that's fair. Oh man, where the fuck is this? There we go. And that is. Yeah, so you see him uh, basically walk up to Leroy, lay a hand on his head, go. Blessed! And then, uh, walk off and, you know, Leroy's healed. Nice. Is his throat okay? Can he talk? Can he sing? Unfortunately, I mean, I'm not sure. I don't know if that works that way. But you know what? We're going to say yes. Leroy's like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Leroy, I, we fixed you, Leroy. Thank you. It's like nothing happened at all. So I, 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 be mad, I right? am so pissed. Zarathos, you are a son of a bitch. What? What the fuck? What did I do? You stabbed me in the throat. No, I didn't. I mean, you kind of, you kind of did, though. 
This feels like a fucking Monty Python skit. <laughs> yeah, just a just a little, a little stab, just kind of right through. Look, you're through, fine. Through, you're you're, you're, you're oh. walking and talking and all that good shit. You, there's no way. I came here and paid for an argument. That wasn't an argument. Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Did I roll to see what that rumbling was? I forget. Mm, I don't think you actually got to that roll. Okay, let me roll then to see if the rumbling is still happening and what it is. Because hopefully it's going well. Uh, it's a fifteen plus something. What am I? What am I adding to that? Uh, investigation. Yeah, I guess. Nineteen. So the the vibrations seem to be emanating from over here. That's really all you can tell. I mean, they don't seem too dangerous or anything. But yeah, uh, he looks around and he's like, yeah, you know, uh, Leroy, we're, we're, let's not get oh, caught up I, in the past. I forgot that my mic was muted. Whoops. <laughs> it happens. Okay. Yeah, so Florence is going to try in the meantime explain to the uh, Leroy and Xanathos what the heck happened. While she's doing that, I'm kind of going to be brave and stupid, and I'm going to kind of run over, walk over here to these rumbles. Where are you going, Wedge? Where are you going, Wedge? No <laughs> 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 Florence is going to be protective over <laughs> Hold her onto the shoulder. Just like, you know. Don't run off and leave us. I'm going to come and investigate the rumblings. All right. And see, touch the statue. Okay. So you're gonna Wait. touch the statue, yeah. or you're checking it out? What you doing? Hmm. Hmm. Should I touch it? Uh I'm gonna check out the statue first. Yeah, it's a fine ass statue. No, I'm just kidding. Um, go ahead and roll your perception or investigation in this case, since you're looking at something specific. Ooh, that's the same, and it doesn't even matter. It's a one. Oh. Nothing to see here, boys. <laughs> now you're just like what? The? You're just like I have no idea what this is. Is that a duck? Yeah, it looks fine. It looks fine. I'm gonna touch it. So I touch it. Nothing Does happens. Something happen? Nope. Okay. Does it's... it feel rumbly? I mean, it's still rumbling. That's weird. Yeah, but yeah, nice. that's what happened. Uh, you were under the influence of magic, so you may have accidentally stabbed him while you were under those influences. And trust me, even I uh, uh, did dancing lights in front of your face while you were underneath it, and you didn't even respond to that, but you respond to movement. That's a nice way of putting it. While she's talking, I'm going to go down here, under the stair, under the pavement, or off the stairs. Does anything happen? Um. So once you pop off those stairs, make a roll. Oh, oh no. Oh, what kind no. of roll? I'm concerned. Uh, actually, you're just going to make the roll, and I'm going to check the modifier from your page so I don't tell you what it is. It's a four. I think you know what the answer is pretty much regardless of what the roll was. <laughs> yeah, that's not great. Well, of, I do have advantage against being charmed and magic can't put me to sleep. Is it either of those? Uh, let's see. Is it charm or sleep? I need to check if this falls under that. Nope, not charm or sleep. Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> you rest in Reese's pieces. Yeah. Yep. And then you are going to uh, make another roll. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. Uh... Not the five. I'm concerned. Very concerned. <laughs> well, maybe that first one was a wisdom save or something, and now I'm rolling to hit something, and I miss because it's a five. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's to hit something. It could be, though. I would like to wish it was. Mm. 
Well, if it's, if it's rolling to hit anyone, I hope it's Wedge. <laughs> well, that's, here's the thing, though. I'm behind Florence right now. That is true. Uh, and Florence is gonna move up a little bit. Just gets off of into intuition. <laughs> oh, <that's> intuition <laughs> Roll an intuition check, Florence. I don't even know if that was the insight. That's nothing. You're making it up. I know. I know. I just. <laughs> if anything, let's do a wisdom check and just like ask your wisdom just for the shits and giggles of how this can go right and wrong. I think. I think you know where this is about to go. But, uh, sorry, one more time. Always the side conversations that get me distracted. Oh gosh. So, I'm gonna assume that uh, Zarathos and Leroy have had their conversation. Yeah, and Florence has filled them in on this proper so things don't get ugly. So we'll, uh, we'll just put that at the end. He's like, so, uh... In summation, these guys saw me stab you, but I cannot legally admit to stabbing you as owner of this uh, carnival, Leroy. This is really the best I'm going to get out of you today, isn't it? Yeah, probably. Yeah, but you can always say I was under the claim of magic influencing you. Mm. Did something happen with my bad rolls? Uh, no. Nothing. You didn't see anything different. Nothing seems to have happened. You're still facing okay. this way, right? Yeah. Yep. You're good. Oh no. Oh no, I think I know what's gonna happen if I turn around. Um so <coughs> get down, get down, get down. So I'm going to walk forward a little bit and investigate this door here. Is there anything interesting about the door? Can I open it? You can try, yeah. I want to try to open it. So the door is made of heavy iron and seems to be locked. Hmm. Okay. So... I... My... I have thieves tools, I think. Um, let me look at the thieves tools. I do have these tools, so I can open the lock. Zarathos looks at, uh, looks at Wedge real quick. Just eyeing him. Hmm. Yeah, he's Wedge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's and the dragon. Yeah. Florence! Yeah, I mean, not Florence, but Ursula, you, uh... Clarence. Oh. Oh, Clarence. Well, never mind. Anyway, continue with your door. Sorry, that was just a sidebar to... Put it no, it's okay. Can I uh, pick the lock? Ah, uh, you can try. Okay. What is that again? Dexterity? Sleight of hand? I hope it's sleight of hand. I think it's. it's I don't know. Let me see. If she had proficiency, I thought it was the dex plus the proficiency bonus. I don't think I have proficiency. You only get to add your proficiency bonus if you have thieves tools, and I do have are thieves. and are proficient with them. I'm not proficient with them, but I have them. So. So you have C like, tools and has expertise. You can attempt to pick a lot and get to add. Oh wait. Oh, okay, that's expertise, but you aren't proficient. You can still attempt, but you don't get to add your proficiency bonus. You don't have any of these tools. Okay, you can actually usually attempt on anything, so... You just won't get the proficient bonus behind it. Yeah, but you don't have disadvantage. when, And if you don't have Thieves tools, you get disadvantage during a lockpick. Oh. So is it sleight of hand, or...? Dex, just straight dex. Yep, just straight dex. Fine. Because you're not My proficient. My plus seven. Yeah, but you're not proficient in picking locks, so you don't have to get to add anything that's proficient. 
That is 1,000% cocked. Oh, yeah, that is 1,000% cocked. Yeah, I believe the only one that actually gets proficiency with thieves' tools would be rogue. I think one yeah. of your backgrounds can give you proficiency with thieves' tools. Yeah, um, not in the player's handbook or the Xanthar's guide because I have both of those on D20 and I was unable to get those. Let me see. Let me give you the exact numbers. I rolled a six. Yeah, you didn't pick the lock. No. Also, make a reflex save. <laughs> oh boy. Fuck me. Fuck me. Uh, fudge. So. I'm gonna pick for traps and I rolled a six. What's a reflex? Oh, sorry, Dex. Re yeah, reflex I'm, is just straight Dex. I, I started playing in 3 5 back when you had different roles for different stuff. So I constantly refer to stuff wrong. That's a nine. I mean, I mean, criminal slash fly gave it. Um, I'm gonna put this dice to the side because it's rolling bad. So the tremors yeah. from that statue have now stopped. That's all that happens. For now. Okay. At least, uh, you know, that's what you're thinking. Even in my reflex save of nine? Okay. Sorry, I thought you said 19. No, it was nine. Oh. Uh, yeah, so yeah. a spear seems to come out of the upper part of the wall <gasps> and hits you square in the right shoulder. Son of a bitch! Also urgent. Um, a middle spy, and then Urchin gives it to you. How much damage do I take? Uh, you're not sure. Well... <laughs> it's something you'll see in a moment, but just keep on to that. Meanwhile, uh, we're gonna say that everybody else, uh, sees, uh... Carly react and fall over, holding her shoulder. Son of a bitch! <laughs> oh, shit. I know what just happened, but I'm not saying it. I'm just I think I know what you're doing, I'm pissed about it! Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I get up from being laid down, I guess laid out like right between these two blocks here, and I turn around. What do I see? Uh, you see, instead of your kind and friendly friends. Uh. You see a nice group of half orcs. Mm -hmm. Some stocky half orcs. Yep, 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 yep. Well, uh, can I roll to see if they recognize me? <laughs> <laughs> I can figure. Yep. Yeah, so this is just great. Okay. Eighty-seven. How many are there? Four. Yeah, there seems to be about four or five, and like a big goblin mount uh, warg that's just hanging around for some reason. So one sixty-six, eighty-eight, and ninety-three. One of them recognizes me. Well, I recognize one of them. So, uh, you see this guy right here? He looks like your friend Bob. Which one? Right here. Okay. He actually looks like Gasicus the Masochist. <laughs> <laughs> since, All right. Since we have some established, uh... Yeah. So, I am... I am very confused. And I'm just sort of holding my shoulder. And I say, and I say, Bob, is that you? Where are my friends? Uh, everybody hears this. Okay. Yep, I'm seeing what's happening. Uh, do okay. Wait a minute. Do I get a gist of what's happening? What I mean, I guess going? that's your character. You know, you're playing your character. Do you think your character would get what was going on at this point? Um. 
Why not do an intelligence check? Hey, there you, that's my best check, because sometimes I'm pretty dumb. What did that give me? <laughs> I, I feel like you kind of got the gist of what's going on there. You know, you're, you're starting to see some patterns uh, popping up. Uh, meanwhile, as soon as you do that, you hear from, like, basically right in front of the coffin just a loud scream of help. In, uh, coffin? And you need to make a perception roll. Me? Sorry, not coffin, statue. Okay. Hitting the, and clicking the wrong thing. And I perception? Yep. Anybody who can hear can should roll perception. Uh, What's that? Twelve. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So you hear a familiar voice, for sure. Oh, familiar? Yeah. You know, know that voice. voice. You know the voice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can I roll and see if I recognize it? Hey, does this voice recognize you? <laughs> it's just um, a voice. <laughs> I, do want it right, I do want it known as well. I still have my crossbow out. Awesome. Uh, it's a good um, thing to have out. This is not good. I'm starting to get noticeably jumpy, Carly is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Especially great. since Carly's still just seeing some... Oh, sorry, there's another work over here that I forgot to pop over on yep. top. I'm gonna get rid I of this see, I see one of my dear friends, Bob. Yep. And, um, and I'm trying to smooth over the situation so I don't have to go to a fight, but I'm sitting here with my with a spear in my shoulder in my eyes, a spear in my shoulder, and that was just seeing a kind of a familiar voice. So I say, to, I say to my dear friend Bob, I say, Bob, what the hell was the scream, Bob? Do you know what the scream was? Uh, Bob looks at you and is just like, who the fuck is Bob? You're, you? It's your name, Bob. We're buds. <laughs> oh, sorry, I changed my name to Bobbert. Bobbert? Yeah, Bobbert. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Bobbert. I'll keep that in mind. Go I appreciate forward, that, Carly. How have you been? I'm, you know, I've, I've been better. I, and I looked down at my shoulder wound. I've been better. Uh, yeah, what happened so to your what? shoulder? Oh, good question. It's a trap. Uh, the door locked. Um, and it shot me. Uh, what? You're more concerned about the scream, though. Who uh, was that? I know that voice. Who was that? You know, I don't really know. Uh, do you know, Johnson? And uh, he looks over at this person, and this person throws an axe at you. What? <laughs> and what? what's your AC again? Is it 15 or lower? 14. 14. Ooh, all right, he hits you. Ah, what the fuck? And you seem to take about uh, D8 damage. So let me roll that real quick. All right, take six. That's what you seem to take. Six damage. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, do I mark that on my character sheet, or should I not? That's up to you. For now. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. I'd, mark it, I'd mark it in pencil. <laughs> okay. Okay. Be, of course. Which yes. Yeah, which one? Because you didn't click over it. Oh, which sorry. One? I tried to. There we go. That one. That one? Oh, that one. Oh, that one. Of course it's that one. Okay. Um, so, I pull my crossbow up, holding my now. Where did it hit me? Where did the axe hit me? So, the axe would have hit you probably in the same arm that you just got shot in. So, I got my dead arm here, and I'm holding my crossbow. <laughs> and the other and arm. I point it up. I don't point it at the person who shot me. I'm saying, what the fuck was that? I didn't do anything. E even Bob's like, what the fuck, Johnson? And Johnson just shrugs. Just felt like it. <laughs> can, I see, can I see if 
Okay, can I see if any of the others are aggressive? Uh, you see these ones start, like, hefting their axes, except for Bob. Okay. So, fuck me running, I guess I, I point my crossbow, and I say, and I say, I say, I don't want to hurt you, I just want to get out of here, so put your axes down. <laughs> Uh, they, uh, pull out another axe, and three of them fling them at you. At which point, Bob is just like, what the fuck? Uh, luckily okay. for you, they all miss. Okay, good. All three of them. Um, one of them doesn't even hit you and hits Bob. Oh, don't hit Bob! Which one hit Bob? This one. This one on the bottom, or this one on the top? Bottom. Bottom. Top cool. one's wolf. Um, well, since Bob is my friend, I'll aim for that one. My character knows it's wedge, so I'm super happy about that. One second, please. What? Just for other people. I point my crossbow at this bottom one here. Wait a minute, are we hearing that too? Yep, everybody. Oh. Yeah, that's that's an open one. Anybody who can hear in that section heard the same voice crying, "Get me out, please!" from the same spot. Yeah, Blitz is going to go do that. Move our happy behind to that. Yeah. All right, sounds fun. Uh, you will. I yeah, that's fine. Uh... Can I use this bow? Uh, there we go. Plus five is 17. Does a 17 hit? And you're going for this one? Yeah, this one. Uh, it seems to, and it lodges right into his arm. Okay. And that's, uh, God, how much damage is that? 1d8 plus 3. Seven, ten. You take ten damage, that one does. Alright, it takes ten damage. And then how are you trying to, like, you know, get the people out, Florence? Just curious. Uh, do I see any way of, open, you know, opening this thing? Uh, that would be a perception and or investigation check. I'll take the investigation. With All advantage right. from the pseudo, uh, from, um, Ursul. Alrighty. I like the idea that you just named your pseudo dragon after yourself. No. I, no, I like that idea though. I know it's not true, but I like the idea. Yeah. I can like things that aren't real. Hashtag anime. I do, like I do often. Great. So Can you see that while it appears to be a statue, uh, this is actually a coffin with a statue on top of it. Oh shit. Fucking creepy zombies my god uh and pretty much as soon as you do that uh i'm waiting for the i gotta do this you'll have some stuff going on but in the meantime obviously the voice continues basically from where you're standing um and as for carly you see the person you shot go hey Bob, your friend shot me Bobbert's gonna be like, well, you put an axe in my back. And then Johnson's just like, hey, can you stop fighting? We have to do other things today. Like pick up our axes. And do any of them lo still look like they are going to fire at me? They're out of axes. They're out of axes. They're out of axes. <laughs> Good. So I can, like, stand over my little horde of axes that were fucking thrown at me. <laughs> and I just point my crossbow and, like, say, don't get any closer. And I just wait. Because I'm too cool. Alright, and, uh, yeah, so once you start... You know, once you've determined that that statue is like a statue on top of a coffin, suddenly out of nowhere, uh, wedge swinging what I'm attacking, yeah, his sword 
just out of nowhere just like smashes the shit out of the statue. Yep. And it, like Language. And both of you must make a reflex save. No, oh, no. Dex save? Yes. Yep. All right. I will get that right about one time. One time and then never again. Hey, you both made it. So your characters end up over here as the statue collapses. The rest of the statue collapses down this way. And I'm just watching these orcs, orcs just go fucking wild on their, on their environment. And I'm just like, what the hell? Oh, no, you don't see that. They're just chilling. Oh, so they're the, the people... Yeah, you, they're I not, like, taking too. their places or anything. That's what it, I thought. I knew you would think that, too. No, they... Yeah, that's not how that one... This one works. Okay. <laughs> this one's so done I a little... Hit, did I actually hit Wedge with no. the crossbow? No, I know Damn. you wanted to, too. But he uh, <laughs> he moved from that location. Otherwise, you would have. I mean, it's not like the other people aren't still standing there or anything. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, that moment when I moved... When you asked me what I was doing, I rolled a 23 on stealth move and talked to Clarence. Oh. Yes. I didn't see anything then. No, you didn't. <laughs> nobody Did you nobody had myself? the passive... Well, one person did, but nobody had the passive perception to notice that. But yeah, so that's what happened. You've now crushed that statue. Um, you guys saw her shoot an arrow at nothing. Maybe. Yeah, Who knows? Yeah. Technically, it kind of looks like she just shot at Leroy and fucking Zarathos and missed. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Florence is just like, I think I got an idea of how to stop this. It's just not gonna be the prettiest thing if it ends up hurting me. Uh, unfortunately, before you're even able to get any closer, the top of the lid, which is actually seems to be like four feet up, like it's not like a short coffin, which is also why you couldn't tell that it was a coffin. It's probably four feet off the ground and 10 or 15 feet each way. Damn. So having said that, the lid to the coffin suddenly flies off at high speeds, shooting into the ceiling and then falling back down to crack and break, like right here. Okay, I need you to hear foreign say, okay. Things are getting interesting. Are the orcs moving any? Uh, this one came up to, like, and pulled out a sword. This one pulled out a crossbow. Oh, this one wow. moved to... Sorry, that one, that one, that one. And this one and this one both moved over here to take cover. Hell. Okay, so And this I, is just, like, came charging at you. I go over here and I hop up on this coffin lid so that it's harder for these two guys to hit me Great. that are behind cover. And I take a shot at this one with the sword. No, I take a shot at this. <laughs> I throw the sword. <laughs> I take it. I take a shot at the one with the crossbow. That's this one, right? Yes, this one has the crossbow. Okay, so I take a shot at that one. Alrighty, go ahead and make your roll. That's cocked. I have too many dice in my tray, so it keeps catching on other dice. Oops. 17 plus 5 is 22. All right, that should be a hit. And that is 1d8. 8 plus 3 is an 11. And so you'd see him take a hit and go, ow, it's me, Bubba. You got your crossbow out. We're going to fight. I was going to shoot Johnson. Or maybe Derek, since he put an axe in my back. Fuck you, Bubba. Seemed to be doing pretty fine for having an axe in your back. 
True. I mean, he is an orc. I didn't hear that, but it's true. <laughs> I didn't hear that, but it is true. And uh, what was your role for again, Michael? That was my reflex, dude. Uh, yes, for that other one. Sorry, I didn't notice that one from the other one. I don't know why I thought it was a new one. I think it's because I'm running out of things going, but yeah. I say I'm gonna stay back. At which point, for you, the like door bursts upward inward, open inward. And you are uh, assaulted by something quite devious, yes. Tell us? You are, but give me a moment. Apparently, it's not showing up for some reason. The fuck? Oh no. Oh no. Carly is assaulted. Show up, I damn it! Assaulted. It is not showing up. What in the fuck? Okay, well, I guess I have to use a different one. Fuck me. Where the f is it? All right, you know what? We're just gonna go with this. Whoa. And it just busts through the door. And I just go, ah! What the fuck? <laughs> uh, out, of, out of curiosity, do I see this? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can make a roll if you'd like, but no. What is it? <laughs> Period. I, I, don't, I don't know if this is like a a, a, a Ashley only thing or because <laughs> I just see this big ass fucking dragon show up. Uh, so it just and I just, I just scream and I'm like, I scream and I say, "How do you even fit in here?" I do crunches. I do crunches. <laughs> I will to see if it see if I recognize it. Yeah. God damn it. Forty-nine. No. No. Yeah. But it does recognize you, Kali. Oh. Kali. Ma. 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 <laughs> Kali. Ma. I kind of I kind of just go over here at like a loom, get some distance, and I'm like, hello. Hello. How are you? Angsty. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a perception to see if I hear Carly talking to herself. I'm not being quiet. At which point uh Bobbert fires his crossbow. And at, who? at Derek. Okay. Thanks, bud. I'm sorry for the crossbow thing. This the one time I roll a good perception. <laughs> yeah, you, you see her over here just like yelling in this direction and then in this direction over at Florence and then over here and just... Carly's just gone, gone, going through some stuff right now. It's okay. Yeah, don't worry about it. Speaking of going through some stuff, the pizza pops out of that freaking coffin that you just got the a statue off of. Hi, you're welcome. <laughs> Where is he? Drago! Here. I don't. Do I see Drago no. anywhere? No. Ah! Can't okay, but I do see all these. Damn, people here. Alone. Yeah, well, you see the people, you don't see this, 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 these two, or that. I don't see any of those. Nope. They're all in my head. <laughs> Wait, what did I miss? Uh, there's a dragon there. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. that's in Charlie's head. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, in the meantime, who's this? Me. Evita! Oh. Which well, is just I like... Was, I was the one in the coffin. Which you can just see... Florence like, what the heck? How did, how did you even get here, if I, I would say, if I was there? Do I, do I notice... The, the statue that was broken above me on the side. Yeah, it'll be like and, partially hanging off of the co you know, like right here. And does it look exactly the same on the other side? Yes, it does. Rushing over to that one. A. There I go. There I go. Can you hear me? Hashtag roll a d20. D20. Uh, perception. Oh, uh, it's gonna be pretty good. Twenty-four. Yeah, all right, Drago hears you. Yes. Th with the excellent cat hearing. Okay. Which now I have to figure out a way to get this stupid thing off of there. And which lines makes her way over and helps him, uh, helps Drago out a little bit. Not Drago, but. Ivica. Yeah, Ivica. Yeah. Windows Vista. <laughs> the joke I made makes written it persists. English is hard. Yeah. <laughs> so Florence is gonna help. Meanwhile, I kind of point my crossbow at everybody and I'm just like, where are my people? Where did you put my people? Kali. Yeah. We are your true people. And then it breathes fire at you. I shoot it with my crossbow. <laughs> Seems logical. Take that damage. <laughs> <laughs> How much damage do I take? Uh, you seem to take twenty-five damage. Oh. Buddy, uh, six. Um, so what happens if I'm out of hit points? You in this fake think you passed out? You're unconscious. <laughs> so I fucking just pass the fuck out, you yeah, guys. Yeah, you just fall over on the floor. Which so you, is you, on purpose. You don't see me just <laughs> on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like I'm about to shoot, and then I just fall over. Pretty much. I definitely don't notice it because I'm just getting there. I go. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of, that'll be, uh, you know, depending on what you're trying to do, push it off, break it, lift the lid, etc. I'm guessing the statue's on top. Yes. Yes. Same statue. You know what I noticed is really amazing? Just off table. Hmm. I broke that statue with a fucking short sword. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Well, you didn't break. <laughs> So, uh, to clarify a bit, you didn't break the whole statue. You broke, like, the front leg that was holding the dog up. And hey, I still fucking broke it. I broke it. Still counts. <laughs> it still only counts as one. <laughs> okay, can I put my hand to the statue and cast Earth Tremor to try and break it? I think that should probably work. Seems like it kind of works, yeah. right? Possibly. Yeah. I like that. It's not used for that, but I mean I'm just trying flavor. You know. Gotta gotta add some flavor to the campaigns, man. You know? Yeah, and I have never once used a campaign or used a cantrip in its intended purpose. I don't think anybody has. I mean in one of my last campaigns I used uh what what was it? Heat uh, metal or something? Yeah, I used heat metal to heat up some metal bars and bend them as a fire ganasi. Oh yeah, I, my first game ever, I used, somebody needed to do some like blacksmithing, but we didn't have like a blacksmith stool, so I used burning hands to heat the metal. And right, and it's, they're, they're fun uses like that, and good DMs yeah. usually allow them. So what I'm going to say is to give it a try and roll a d20, we'll see right. how those tremors go. Am I adding anything to it? We'll just go with a flat d20 on this one. Okay. 13. 
All right, yeah. so we'll say that, you know, you've sent it through and it has fractured a good portion of the the dog, but it might need another go around to, like, completely break it down. Gotcha. But it's definitely weakened. Seven. Meanwhile, yeah, you guys got a sleeping dead <laughs> fucking companion over here. <laughs> I'm just on I'm the ground. No one's noticed me yet. I I'm still waiting for your response, Axel. Oh, sorry uh, about that. I mean, I think the only one of us here that actually used the cantrips to their intended purpose, I think, is roughly <laughs> Florence. I mean, yeah, Florence didn't... uses, but you have information cantrips. That's why. No. My cantrips that entire time to make tremors and to make noises so that you get me out of my freaking coffin. Finally. You did. <laughs> I'm very proud of it. <laughs> it was well. It's it was well done. Like, it's not like it's just that there's a bigger problem on the issue. That boys just realize they cannot leave that staircase because there's either A, a problem, or B, this is not good. I'm just fucking dead on the floor. Just when I when it's my time again, I'll just use the tremor again. Try and break the statue. Alrighty. Go ahead and roll that D20 one more time. Ooh, that's a six. We're gonna we're gonna err on the side of saving time and say that broke it because we're just gonna do it again, honestly. Yeah. And I it just use three first level spell slots. <laughs> yeah, let's not. <laughs> Not right off the bat. Uh, but yeah, I think that should be good enough. Two Earth Tremors, if that doesn't break it, nothing's going to break it. Yeah. So that's 2d6 then, worth of damage. And then Thaumaturgy. Yeah. Get that lit off. And you have Drago back, which I think we gave you a character thing for Drago, yeah, so you can I add can him, in. Put him in. Yay! Yay! Yep, that is right. Did we give you one for Ursul yet? Yes, yes, you did. Okay. I just, I did. It's just like, you know, she's sitting on Florence. So yeah. Like... No, I get you. Sorry, that's why I didn't have Clarence there. He wasn't doing nothing, so it didn't matter. He almost got yeah. shot, though. Yeah, I, okay. I did almost shoot him. Real close. You almost shot uh, Zarathos, too. Darn. Right? I'd be so upset if I hit Zarathos. <laughs> He killed our barmaid. Leroy is just like, uh, I'm here still. Yeah, and which, like, if Florence explains that roughly there is clearly something going on. Is, is she going to explain that? To is, it, is anyone going to help Carly off the floor? That and while she's explaining and points out Carly, and what she would see, I'm guessing she would now notice that Carly's down. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Once, once I have my reunion, I would then start to actually take in my surroundings. Now then, okay, you'll, you'll have your reunion moment. You'll like run to each other with your arm outstretched, with the spooky, scary skeletons in the background, just like <laughs> up. I mean, no, we've already no, had one zombie before. here. We had, we already had it for Florence and Ursul. Why not? Let's do this. Spooky, scary skeletons and shadows on my spine. I'm also, I'm also dead. Can somebody do something about that? Do I notice her dead at this point? Hello. Mm hmm. Axel. Yeah. I was muted for fire. Uh, yeah, you can definitely go up and see that she's just like laying there on the ground and cl clutching her arm or something. Fine. Take another one of my first level spells. I think. <laughs> uh, well, in which Florence did warn you guys what happens if you step off of this thing, roughly. Well, and what did, did I have to walk over to, to know that she was gone, or am I still up there? 
She's all the way over out off the floor. So you can see and her that she's laying down here, but you would have to move to get in positioning for clear line of sight of spells anyway. Ooh. Um, it's just healing word for me. So. Oh, well then, yeah, that one's probably fine, because that one just needs to be heard. <coughs> yeah. But, yeah, you can, you can use yeah. that if you would like to. I'm going to, and I'm going to tell, say, get up, you idiot. We need to find out where we are. Let me check this. And I will heal. I'm going to roll. Just I don't know if it works yet, but it would be eight. So you uh, go to cast a spell. You cast a spell. And I don't know if healers can tell this intrinsically or not, but we're going to say you can for now that you tried and you noticed that they didn't need any healing. Well, technically I did. I was three points down. Oh, well, then they get three healing points and they're full health. Yay! But they're but still, still unconscious. unconscious, yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I couldn't hear you call me an idiot, I'm sorry. Don't have a dream. Mm. And you'll be called an idiot within that. That's yeah. true. You just get two Both pieces of, of bread. Not my dreams anyway. Ooh. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I mean, I did know Gassicus the Masochist, so... Yeah. Alright, if that didn't work, then I will go down to her. Uh, which one did warn you? Florence is just like, uh, but doesn't actually think it. It's kind of sad because she just warns that her party of stepping off of the stairs seem to trigger a weird effect. So you step nice. down there, yes? Yeah. Roll yeah. for your... Actually, I can't tell you for what, but roll and I will add your appropriate modifier. Eight plus appropriate modifier. Alrighty. So, let's do that one more time. Oh yeah. Oh, I have to roll again? Oh. Yeah, one more time. Yeah. Sorry. 17. Ooh, all right. So, uh, at first, nothing happens, and then, uh, you basically see the floor under you and, uh, Carly start to fall out. But then, uh, you, you know, you notice that that's not really happening. All right. Pull out my water skin and dump it on Carly's face. That should do the trick. So I'm awake now? Yes. I go... <laughs> what the heck? And then I grab my crossbow and I look around. I said get up, you idiot. Um, no, like, what was like an actual Rude. dragon, Rude. Clarence. Rude, Clarence says. I mean, like a bad dragon, but not like the porn company. <laughs> that should not be funny. But you just need one way. I did, I did warn you guys that if you go down these stairs, now, now we are in that confirmed bit, that magic is in that lovely area. And that it probably is in our best interest to be smart about this. Through I, I felt something, but I was able to overcome it. So the bigger question is. So the bigger question. Know? Go ahead. I was gonna say the bigger question is how the heck do we get across? And you know. Well, I mean, I'm standing here, and I'm not. I don't see the wagon anymore. So I mean, maybe we're here now. Because we know. Carly, do you have a water skin? Uh, do I have a water skin? That is a very good question, and I rifle through my bag a little bit. Yes. If yes, we, I do. Maybe we can splash you out of anything that might come your way in your mind if you come down the stairs. I also hit I also hit Xerathos with a rock and that helped. 
We can slap you. Drago, come. <laughs> I have, I'm gonna have Drago come next to me. And if he has to make rolls. Yeah, I don't think he does actually. Okay. Let me double check. No. Nope. Dead are not affected by things that affect the mind. Yep. So I'm a specialty in that one. And see, the lion is fine, so I'm sure everyone is fine now. Uh, I don't trust it. But then I can. That reminds I me, I still one. need to get Wedge's sheet back because I don't have it anymore. My link is bad. Oh. Wedge is still here, though. That's good. You need my sheet? Yeah, remember it was fucking up the other day? I posted a new link. Where? You didn't in, tell me. I deleted the one in the uh, there we go. Carnival, Carnival sheets and posted a new one. Well, you never told me, you nerd. Well, this is why you keep notifications on, Mr. DM. It's not my job. <laughs> it's not my fault your shitty character got deleted. <laughs> he's actually a very good character. I he's think. he's a pretty decent character, except for he you know shoots everybody, sneaks off when you need him. Yeah, we all have we all have our quirks. <laughs> I'm gonna Wedge look. does Wedge things. Don't judge him. Wedge does exactly what he's supposed to do. Be an asshole. Well, yeah, you ain't wrong. A dumb ass. That's a really charismatic <laughs> dumb <laughs> ass. He called me. I called him Dusty beforehand, but still. <laughs> Just some lighthearted name calling. However, yeah. one second. Yeah. yeah. There we go. And once again, uh, there you go, Clarence. My bad. I was typing about too many things at once. So much going on. What does Clarence say, Florence? What does Clarence say? Clarence looks at you like, don't tell her. Come yeah, on. Nobody, Come on, no one seemed to, uh, you know, notice Florence kind of walked away momentarily. I did yeah, hear so that for a second. Yeah. Speaks. I forgot she walked away momentarily. She had just happened, but I forgot. <laughs> at which point, and uh... I'm the only other one? Zarathos just looks at him and he's like, you right, though. Ooh, what'd he say? Oh, what'd nothing. Say? Nothing. Say, come on, bud. You wouldn't get Clarence, it. Clarence, why don't you tell me what you said? I said persuasively. <laughs> why do people always try to persuade dragons? Andy, nat 20. Do I roll? I mean, you can, but I don't know what his passive is, so I'm gonna go check, because that's what it's gonna come down to if you get a nat 20. That's a 19. Oh, yeah. Plus he got... my persuasion of 9. Yeah, he got a nat 20. Damn it. Yeah, he is not <laughs> talking today. But my persuasion is plus 9. What's his? Plus a 28. Let's see. To the dragon in the monster manual. I won't be mad. Probably. <laughs> Probably. I would never. And there we go. 86. Page 86. That was the wrong page. That was the right page. And I'm back. I'm sorry about that. So oh, I need to use some of these. Oh, I'm uh, making Clarence tell me what he said in Draconic. Hashtag trying to make Clarence. <laughs> <laughs> I was a 19 and he rolled a nat 20, but my persuasion is plus 9. But it's a nat 20. But my persuasion is plus 9. But it's a nat 20. <laughs> depends on the DM how they want to do it. It also yeah, yeah. depends yeah, on so the, uh... Mean yeah, that's true. However, uh, dragons themselves usually have pretty high charisma bonuses. That is true, too. Oh. 
Yeah. I huff and I say, fine. Keep your secrets. Keep your secrets. <laughs> All right, Gandalf. Wedge laughs. <laughs> <laughs> and when she just see Florence sigh, just like okay, but we do. I think I have something from one of the rooms that might be helpful here. What do you have? I have a ruby. No, don't you remember that the cloak that we found? Oh yeah, the cloak. It's a good thing I remember. Now I see. It's a good thing I kept kept tabs on that. Yeah, because we got a spear, cloak, and a thing, and you have all of that, right? Yes. Radical. So how is the cloak gonna help us? Don't you remember what the cloak does, right? Absolutely not. Da, 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 absolutely not. Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> okay, let me put this in perspective. We're, in, okay, we're, and she kind of motions to everybody else, but, you know, Draco, uh, and all the other guys. Those three that are not in the circle, this is some type of anti-magic feel. And once we step out of it, apparently, it causes some weird mirage effects that aren't really there. And this is why we have water skins. Yeah, we could also just like slap you. Ah, you really want to try to slap me? Trust me, it does not. You're, this is gonna be a field day. Would you like Drago to slap you? No. He'll just like bat you with his paw. No thanks. Leroy, the transgender bar made offers. Leroy, come down. No, no, oh gosh. Think about this, this Come is a fu- Come on, Leroy, you can do this. You got this, Leroy! Oh shit, crit <laughs> roll from Leroy! Woo! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we knew you could do it, Leroy. Leroy's like, I am happy. I'm worthy. I'm worth- Stab through the neck again. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just kidding on that one. The other one was serious. And uh, at this point, Zareth is going to be like, what's everyone's deal with the floor down here? Is it a dog uh, the picture? Floor is bad. Floor, the bad? floor is evil. Evil floor. Maybe evil it's just floor. misunderstood. Have you tried listening to its side of the story? No, it kind of threw a dragon at me. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Like yeah. this guy? And I look bigger. Green. So like this guy, because before he was pointed to Sheriff Show. I mean, a little bigger than him. Have we have we said Zerathos' name since I've come out? I don't no. think so, no. Alright, I need to make a, a roll. See if I know him. This is a good point. I mean, technically I'm supposed to still be talking to him. I thought you were still doing that stealthily. Unless you're no longer stealthily doing that. You can at least look at him. Uh, 27. Do I know him? Uh, I think no. so, because I've been here, what, 10? Yeah. You know, surprisingly, Carly did. Yeah, yeah. We ha we recognized each other. We're friends. We're buds. Yeah, Vita doesn't have friends or buds. So. Uh... I'll be here, bud. <laughs> okay so the floor is evil but we still need a way to get out of this room and i want to know what's behind that door but that door stabbed me earlier well what door i look at my shoulder i look at my shoulder and i'm like okay never mind the door didn't stab me and then i huffily with a lot of sass and drama, walk over to the door again. And which, this time, um, Florence is going to put on the cloak and then make her way down those stairs. And I point to the door and I say, this door.
taking your step of faith, Lawrence. Yeah, but she has the cloak on, so she's gonna do it. Oh. You have that same cloak, I don't know right? What cloak this is. Yeah, that that cloak that you told me last time. Yep. That is essentially is a mobile anti magic field. Yep. It doesn't have a field effect, but it is basically essentially the same as an anti magic field, but wearable. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Unfortunately, I only do have the one. Yeah. But yeah, no, you step down and you don't feel any different. Yeah, which Florence is going to really make her way over towards Carly and help her with this do lock picking. So uh, you come up to the door and you see that the door is unlocked. It's unlocked. I tried Florence, I swear to God, I, I tried to lockpick this door, it didn't work, and then it stabbed me with a spear. I'm thinking it's it has to do with the whole mirage effect of this room. It actually hurt. Like, a lot. And mirages can... Okay, I don't know. Would I know that? I'm guessing another intelligence check for this one? Because I'm about to say... Well, I just can't actually hurt, especially given that there is a spell that do that out of character knowledge. It hurt at the time. She thought it hurt. That was a, I it, know, but like I said, out of character, that was me. Yeah, yeah. That and that's the yeah. thing is it's perceived damage versus actual damage, once again. And which, which nope, is, she would not know. Nope, she would not know that. Well, maybe it just, yeah, maybe it didn't, maybe it didn't. Mm -hmm. I'm better now, though. And I got I better, though. Shut up on my shoulder. What? I said, I got better, though. I got better, though. Hey! Hey, Wedge! And me. You're stronger than me. I, I Can you open this door? door? What? Why? <laughs> I say, Wedge, you're stronger than me. Can you help me open this door? Yeah, come help us open this door. We're we're two weak mages. You just see Clarence in his head going back and forth. Don't do it. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I ain't strong. You're stronger than us. Yeah, look at all your glamour muscles. Yeah. Unless, are they glamour muscles? I say, trying to goad him into into proving he can do it. Yeah, I know, right? And Clarence is uh, Florence is helping. Florence is helping this shit go along, and she is enjoying it. She's getting invested on this building. Are they not actually, like, strength muscles? Are they just for show? I know, right? That sounds about right at what I'm hearing. Uh, at which That's point you just hear Zarathos take it wrongly and say, These are real muscles, and he steps onto the floor. Oh, no. Oh, yeah! Oh, Let me make no. the second run. Oh yeah! Did he make it? Mm, he did make the second one. <laughs> but he didn't make the first one. Demons! I, I cast... Does he look close to death? Not really, no. I cast Vicious Mockery and I say, Oi! Stupid! They're not real! And he takes... Oh, wait, I think he has to make a save. Which yeah, he I has don't... to make a wisdom save. Which he did not make. Three points of damage. Alrighty. Is he better? Is he fixed? He does look a little better. Okay. <laughs> now, Wedge, are you trying to tell me you can't help me, lift, help me open this door? Sorry, I'm weakling. That door was like the jaws of hell moments ago. <laughs> but it's not anymore. It's, it got better. <laughs> it got better. How how do you have all those muscles that are actually weak? I'll be chilling here a bit if you want to come in. Steroids. Like in an hour. But I know you'll probably be on the game by then. No, yeah, that's see, actually I fair. He could be on steroids. What's that? It could solve the random shooting people thing. That could be the, the so answer for that. Because he's on fucking steroids. Yeah. It's a shot by 7-3, Okay, well then, um, I would like to try and open the door myself then. 
All right. Watch you roll a fucking nat twenty to open the door. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have these. I have these like skinny little stick arms that are only good for uh, um, holding a loot, and that's an eighteen plus uh, one, so nineteen. Now you know it's really bad. What? Wedge, Wedge also has a plus one strength. We are the same strength. You are this big, muscly Baywatch kind of guy, and I'm just this skinny little bard girl. You're wiry though. Wait, what? I am pretty wiry. I'm um, apparently uh, Wedge and I are the same strength. Well, I have a thirteen. I should also have. No, I have a twelve. I have a plus one. But Florence has a plus, is a, is a nine. Oh, so you have a minus one, or a zero. Mm -hmm. a ni ni nine, nine, minus, minus, mm -hmm. minus one. But, eh, she doesn't mind. I mean, she has something that compensates for that. I should totally have opened this door with a 19. You did. We gotta go. Where does it go? Wait, should we check the tombs to see if any of our other friends are in there? No, well, it's a little late for that. You already opened up the door. <laughs> we <laughs> obviously we can no longer. It. We can no longer you open these. The door and you fucked us all. Really? Possibly. <laughs> oh god. Going actual is going to be a yes. So I go over to this one that I stood upon. And can I try to open it? Yeah. I'm going to try to open it. Nat 20. Uh, total 21. In the meantime, Florence is going to take the, uh, do this, uh, do this golfing over here. Hopefully, he doesn't bite her in the behind. Um, is it is a string chest or is it a string chest building the thing? Or yes. Yes, you yeah, did no. not open that door. Yeah, no, you did not. I'm feeling so strong because I just like I just like planted my feet. I jammed my fingers, which are very dexterous <laughs> from playing the lute and doing other things, and I I kind of jam my fingers into the hole. And I flip it up with my lifting with my knees, and I just flip it open. So what I'm hearing is essentially. I really let me wish just... you would have worded that differently. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I worded it exactly as I meant it to. Oh Jesus! But Carly flips open the lid, and then she's just kind of doing there, standing there doing like strength poses, like strong man poses. <sighs> So, for so five you... seconds, let's, let's, there you go, there's an image. Yeah, like that! Yeah. It does some seven stars in the air. Yep, there we go, there we go. Turns out I don't need men for anything. Hey, preach. Hell yeah. However, uh, you did push that off. It goes well. It slides off the back. You hear a nice loud dun dunk as it, you know, hits the ground and cracks. And you know everything's looking good. I look inside. What's inside? <laughs> a spear to the face. Uh, make a reflex okay. check. Seriously? Yeah. Fourteen plus dex of three is seventeen. I'd say that's good. So you're able to leap back yep. as suddenly from out of the coffin rises. Keep! A large, uh, half deadish looking thing which instantly sets Levista's death monitors on rise. Mm -hmm. Fucking eep, you guys! I back up. Wait, can you guys see that too? And which Florence turns around and says, Does she, is she able to see it? Yeah, I, you know, it's a large, 
dead yeah. thing. I'd what say it probably fuck? takes up a good portion of the room, which is lit, surprisingly. And which one nods? Colin says, yeah, yeah, you're not, a, that's not a hallucination. Okay. I take my crossbow back out and I say, and I roll to see if it recognizes me. What the fuck? It's not gonna recognize you! It's 36, it doesn't. Um, and I say, and I say, hello! I mean, it looks like it understands you. We mean you no harm. And now roll for initiative. <sighs> All of us? Probably, yeah. Oh, that's a three. That's a That was a... Oh, yeah, yeah, so... Lawrence got a four. The Ursul got a ten. I'm not drunk. This is how it sounds. This is exactly what I mean. <sighs> how is it that Ursul? How? And they both have the same mod. If I'm, I'm understanding this right. They should, I thought, for your one, but I'm not sure, sure. So, I mean, sure. <laughs> and which, uh, which goes first for Ursul? I'm not on there. Oh, no. So I just kind of look at Wedge, Wedge in, Wedge in his fuck face, and I'm just like... Yeah, I just wanted to loot a little. Any chance you can add um, Ursul to that list? Even though Ursul Do you is. have uh, Ursul's character up? I need a yeah, character. Right I and forgot Carly. that that we didn't have a different dragon to give Ursul, but that's okay. Yeah. Carly's not there either. There we go. Thanks, thanks, bud. Speaking of... Oh, hey, look. Look at you guys. We are all just shit at this. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Luckily, I have my crossbow out. It's true. You were already prepared from other things. Yeah. But yeah, it uh, it's not its turn, but it looks hostile. <laughs> you get the feeling you need to be ready as if there were an initiative order or something. Oh, wait. <laughs> I've been doing... Where did I go wrong? I was going to say, I think he does his own stuff. He's like a yeah. separate entity. That's why it's nice to have him, because yeah. you can maneuver him around battles to gain flanking. Like, pets are underutilized, but very useful, right. actually. Yeah, it's like I'm, I can issue commands on my turn for him to do on his turn. Yes, I don't, and, and he just takes the dodge action. It's true, uh, oh. and I believe those are either bonus or free action, aren't they? They shouldn't take much time. Uh, issuing a command is an action. Is it? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, but, uh, so but he, then if, if I don't command him, then it's he takes the dodge action and he can still move. Yeah. Well, can't you set him into into like continuous action, like attack, defend? Um, that's a good question. I don't know much about the Beastmaster. It's been a minute since I've looked into the subset, but I would assume if it's definitely like focused on controlling a little bit of the beast with command words, it would have some kind of like extra stuff. But obviously, you know, whatever you want to do with it, I've enjoyed Drago the whole time. Ranger's Companion. You gain a beast companion that accompanies you on your adventures and is trained to fight alongside you. The beast obeys your commands and takes its turn on your initiative. On your turn, you can command the beast where to move, no action required by you, or take the attack, dash, disengage, or help action. If you don't issue a command, the beast takes the dodge action. Yeah. So, so it is it just on my, on my turn initiative. 
Yes, it's on your turn initiative, yeah. and it doesn't take an action from you. Because as it says here, no action required by you. Oh. Well, it says uh, to, uh, to command my beast to move is no action. But then I have to use my action to verbally command it to do something. You can use your action to verbally command it to take the attack, dash, disengage, or help action. So those are the actions it can do. Yes. Attack, dash, Otherwise, disengage, help. If I don't, it just takes the dodge action. So it's Fair. disadvantage to hit him. Which is a good thing to have, honestly. Yes. But yeah, it, it's the, even just the movement and using that for flanking is crazy good. Yeah. Um, Divi got 17 on the initiative. Nice. I don't have her character. I need to put yeah, it I in. Don't, I don't think you have character. I don't think I And nobody said... has noticed where the doll is, which is fantastic. No. <clears throat> no, I don't notice anything. Yeah, I mean, Florence had it in her bag, and which she probably noticed it then, but just didn't say anything. At this point, she just kind of chalked it up as a zone will, you know, run around and do whatever the heck she wants. <clears throat> Don't do stuff sometimes. Speaking of, uh... He's gonna get his own turn. Or not. And yeah, it that makes it uh, Azuva's turn first. Does that imply she would want to do anything? No, I mean, it's up to her what she wants to do. It could be nothing, but it's still her turn in the turn order. Yep. <laughs>